The simplest way to describe variables is that they are names that are assigned to values. These names can start with either a letter or an underscore, but not a number. So let's start off with something simple and let's create a variable called the variable and assign it the value one. If we click play, everything ran correctly and the number was assigned to the variable called variable. So no problem at all. We could even do print to double check that the variable has been assigned the value one. Click play and of course it prints out one. We can mix the name of the variable with uppercase and lowercase letters. So we could have variable name, for example. And when we click play, everything was assigned correctly. And if we want to print that to double check, of course, it prints out one again as well. No problem at all whatsoever. We could also add underscores in the beginning, or we can even add underscores in the middle. And if we check that again, oh, let's copy that. Everything ran correctly. Now, what we cannot do is we cannot add numbers at the beginning of variables. And, and so when we add the number one, we kind of see that there's some kind of error here. And when we try to click play, we get a syntax error invalid decimal literal. So basically, because this number is in front of this word, it cannot exactly uh, interpret what exactly this is. So naming variables with numbers in the beginning will not work. Uh, we cannot use special characters either. So if I had like a minus or I don't know, an ampersand in front and I tried to click play also, it's gonna be an invalid syntax. So uh, we can't use special characters or numbers in front or in the middle of these uh, namings. But uh, the only way we could do it is, like I said before, uppercase or lowercase letters. We could use underscores, but we cannot use any numbers or special characters to create the naming of these variables. Variable names are case sensitive, meaning two variables with the same name, but one has an uppercase letter will be treated differently than the variable with the lowercase letter. So let's create a new cell here. And let's say we create a variable called var and it's gonna be equal to five. And if we print that and click play, it prints out five, great. But if we create a new variable, but with uppercase letters with var equal to seven, and we print the var with uppercase letters, it prints out seven. So even though these variables have the exact same name, uh, because they're case sensitive, it's gonna have different values and it's gonna be treated differently. Similarly, even if we have only the first letter that's uppercase and the rest are lowercase, same situation, it prints out seven and it treats it completely different from this variable. You can also assign multiple variables in the same line, but it's not really a good idea to do that. It could be confusing when trying to read the code, but it is possible. And to do that, we could do, for example, var one, which equals var two, which equals var three, which equals, let's say 25. And if we print each one, so var one, print var two, and print var three, and we click play, we get 25 three times. So basically all these three variables have been assigned the same thing. And when we print those variables out, uh, we get exactly the same values. In Python, data is dynamically typed, which means that Python automatically determines the type of the variables, such as integer, float, string, and so on, based on the data that you assign to it without requiring explicit specification. The type of variable can dynamically change as you assign different types. 
So, like I've been doing up until now, is I have been assigning integer values. So let's create a variable called var and assign it the value seven. Now, if we want to check what is the type of the variable, we could use a special method called type, and then we could check the the type of that variable. And when we click play, we can see that the value that has been assigned to this variable is of type integer. So let's try a new type and let's try creating a string. So let's say hello. And if we print type bar and we click play, we see that this is indeed of class string. And as you can see, the first time when I assigned the value, it was of type integer, but I have overwritten that by assigning it a new value, which was of a type string. And now that same variable, which has been overwritten, is now of type string. So these variables change dynamically based on the type that you assign to it. So as you can see, we have a type integer and we have a type string. Some other types that you might be familiar with are, for example, floats. So we could assign the number 1.5, print the type of that variable, and we can see that's a type float. We can try bar equals 10 plus 5j, and these are called complex numbers. These are more used in scientific computations uh, so maybe you don't really use them too often but you can use that for scientific uh, calculations as well and so if we print this of type bar we get and that is of type complex and we also have of course our typical boolean so for example true or false and we print that as well. And we get, of course, type bool. And of course, type string as we've seen before. So these are just some of the few common types that uh, you might have seen before or you might see in the future as well. In Python, Casting allows you to change a variable's data type to a different type. For example, if you want to change the type of a variable, which is float, into an integer, you would use the int casting method. Now, to convert that variable that's a float into a type integer, we would use the int casting method. And to do that, it's basically to use the int, and then what we want to cast, which variable, and that's going to be the var variable. And we could just see out of curiosity what this will give us. And when we click play, this converts the this 1.5 into a 1. So basically, it kind of rounds down to the value of 1. If we wanted to change this into a string, then we would use the str casting method. And when we click play, we have this of a type string and it's in quotes. And we can even check the type of this. And of course, it's string. And before, when we had int, again, we could check that. And of course, it's of type int as well. Become a member at AILearningHub.io and get access to personalized mentor guidance, early access to AI resources, help with AI projects, and a great learning community.